Hello. Today I'll be talking about graphing systems of equations. Um, there are three types of answers you can get out of um, these types of problems. Um, you can get no solution, infinite solutions, or a single solution. Now you get a single solution, and that's pretty much what we're looking for, is where these lines hit, or where they meet, the point where they meet. Um, so if they hit at a single point, that's called an independent solution. Now, if they're parallel lines, that means they have the same slope. But they hit at different y-intercepts. So that means there's no solution because they never hit. And we're looking for where they do hit, like here. That would give us one solution here. Since they never hit, that gives us no solution. And a good way to tell just by looking at the equations is they differ by a factor. Like from this equation to this equation, if you multiply this by 3, it'll give you something similar. Like here, if we multiply that equation by 3, it's going to give us 3x plus 3y equals 12. When these last numbers are different but everything else is the same after you multiply by that factor, that gives you parallel lines because they have different y-intercepts. If you have the same line, that means it hits at every single point. So all these points are solutions because we're looking at where the graphs hit. That means there are infinite solutions because it hits at every single point. So our lines here, in this case, aren't going to differ at all if we multiply by a certain factor. So here we multiply this one by negative 2, and if we bring that down we get negative 2x plus 2y equals 6, which is the same as the first equation. So if you can multiply them something and they become the exact same thing as the other one, it means they're the same line and that gives you infinite solutions. If the last two numbers differ, after you multiply by something, they give you the same for, in standard form, the first two terms, that means there, it's no solution because they never hit. Okay, now for a few short examples. Um, we are solving these by graphing. There are two other methods of solving these, substitution and elimination, which will be in my next video. But for today, we're just graphing. All right, and to graph an equation, you want y equals mx plus b. So we need y equals mx plus b. Can't graph it without it. Well, our first one here in example one is already in y equals mx plus b form. So we can rewrite that one. And here, our slope is just negative 3, or negative 3 over 1, and our y-intercept is 0, 3. The second one we have to do a little bit of work for. Um, we're just solving for y, so what we could do, and I'll do it over here to the side, um, we have x minus y equals 1. We could add y to both sides. We're just trying to get y by itself. I did that to make y positive. It's easier to deal with when y is positive. x equals y plus 1 or 1 plus y, however you want to look at it. And then since we need y by itself, we minus 1. Um, so x minus 1 equals y. You can flip that around. y equals x minus 1. All right, so that's our second equation y equals x minus 1. Now we have to figure out where these hit by graphing. All right, so for our first one, we had a slope and y-intercept of this. Now for our second one, we have a slope of 1, or 1 over 1, and a y-intercept of 0, comma, negative 1. All right? And I'm just going to get rid of this so we can make a big graph under it. All right. So making a graph our first 
line has a starting point or y-intercept at 0, 3, so over 0, up 3. There's our first point. And to use our slope, we go down 3, over 1. And we can draw a line from that. Second um, line has a y-intercept of 0, negative 1, which is right here, and a slope of positive 1 over 1. So we go up 1 over 1. And they happen to hit right there, which is what we're looking for. So we need to state that point. It's just x comma y. So our point here is over 1, up 0. So the solution to this system is 1 comma 0. All we're trying to find out is where they hit. Second one, similar to the first, um, we need y equals mx plus b first. This one's already done for us. So we can rewrite the system. y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 1. That's our first equation. And we need to solve for y here. To solve for y, um, if you're multiplying by a fraction, to get rid of it, multiply by its reciprocal. So we multiply by 2 thirds to both of our sides. We pretty much have to do it to every term. All right, whenever you have to multiply or divide by something to an equation, you multiply it or divide it to every term. So that's going to cancel. We're going to get y equals 2 divided by 2 is 1, 3 divided by 3 is 1. y equals negative x times 2 thirds is negative 2 thirds. x uh, negative times a positive is still negative. 3 divided by 3 is 1, 2 divided by 2 is 1, that all turns into 1. So we pretty much have the same equation here. So we already know our answer um, from the definition, but we'll still graph it anyways. Our slope for both of these is negative 2 over 3, that's our rise over run, and our y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 1. Now we can graph it. x-axis, y-axis. Since they're the same line, we only have to do it once. We have a point at 0, negative 1, so over 0, down 1. That's our y-intercept. And then our slope is down 2 over positive 3. So it's about right there. And since it's the same line, we know by definition, again, uh, these lines intersect at every point. So therefore, our answer is infinite solutions. Because we're just looking for where they intersect, and they intersect at every point forever and ever in both directions. So that gives us infinite solutions, and that's all I have for today.